Hello, hello from IPSOC 17 in Bangalore, India. And here I'm back again with Open Silicon. So this time I, I am with Divendra, who is the engineering manager. And the topic now is very specific. It's about Interlac and IP. So please tell us. Yes, yeah, so uh, Open Silicon has been one of the founder members of the Interlac and Alliance. And we have been working on this IP uh, for quite four or five years now. Uh, Interlaken is very popular in uh, data centers and as a backplane for the networking world. So networking world almost is aware of Interlaken very well. Uh, what we have done today, I mean what we are going to present paper also, is about what we have done in Interlaken, enhanced the Interlaken IP today. We have a 1.2 terabit support today. Earlier we had a 16 GBPS support. Uh, what has happened in the recent last year is, uh, with the service speed going up, Interlaken was not able to support that high service speeds, mm -hmm. which is like 35 to 56 G. So we had uh, Interlaken Alliance came up with an approach where they had an amendment, where they started using FEC also in Interlaken, which is forward error correction, which is called as RS544514. So we have added that support to Interlaken. Now because the lane, each lane, has its capability has increased to 56 G, it automatically asks the user interface also to run at a higher speed and the IP to support higher bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So we have made the IP scalable. Already it is so scalable that we have enhanced it to support one terabits rate. And that's, how, that's what is the paper would be focusing on. Ah, okay. So it's a good news. People will listen to your paper. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and we'll know more. Yes. Okay, Looking so. For, for more inquiries and more, uh, more details. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much and uh, good luck for your Interlaken IP. Thank you.